How to remember the MKM surveil lands. Now that surveil is an evergreen keyword, it can show up in non Ravnican sets. So, of course, we got 10 new surveil lands in the latest Ravnican set, except the surveil lands all have weirdly non Ravnican names and flavor. Generally speaking, Magic the Gathering enthusiasts know the names of the 10 Ravnican guilds that represent each possible color pairing. The ally pairings, Azorius, Demir, Rakdos, Gruul, and Selesnya, followed by the enemy pairings, Orzov, Izzet, Golgari, Boros, and Simic. The problem is that, despite these lands being released in a Ravnican set and each representing the color pairs of those guilds, they don't really line up with the existing guild lore. They do kind of line up with the color identities or the colors they represent, but not in the same ways that the guilds have previously represented them. And even then, they don't line up with the same facets. It's like the Ravnican dual lands aren't really Ravnican dual lands, just dual lands that happen to be in a Ravnica set. Let me explain. One of the new lands is green and blue and is named Hedge Maze. Hedge Maze isn't Simic. Simic is weird science and wacky hybrids and mutations and body modifications and Hedge Maze is a literal Hedge Maze. A Hedge Maze is a maze, so it lines up with Blue's brainy vibe. Mazes are cerebral and tricksy, and a Hedge Maze is made of bushes or whatever, which is green and grow, and that's very, like, on the nose for green. And, like, Simic is both brainy guild with all the science and they grow mutants and vats or whatever so the growth stuff works, but like it's a whole wacky bioscience -y vibe, not topiary. The hedge maze is just a hedge maze. Nothing about it feels Simic. So since I couldn't thematically link the guild's established vibes, I came up with a way to link each guild to each land using stupid names. That way, instead of trying to remember a bunch of essentially arbitrary pairs of words, we remember the following list. Azorius Archive, Demir Downspout, Rockdos, Gruul Galleria, Selesnia Solarium, Orzov Voyersovs, Is It Raining, Golguary, Boros Boudoir, and Simic Shrubbery. Okay, cool. Now that we have stupid nicknames for each land, how do we use these to remember the real names? Well, with... Mnemonic Stories. I'm going to tell you a series of stories that are going to draw a synaptic path from each stupid nickname to each real card name. And you don't really need to remember the story because it's just going to make sense once I've told it. First up, we have the white blue one. And of course, white blue is Azorius. So first, we need to remember the nickname, which of course is... Oh right, it's Azorius Archive. But the card doesn't have Azorius in its name, so it's an archive. But what kind of archive? Well, Azorius is the Law and Order Guild, so their archive would be meticulous. And there we have it. White, blue, Azorius, archive, meticulous archive. Next up, we have blue, black one. And blue, black guild is Demir. Most of these nicknames are alliterative, so we have a hook to hang them on in our brain. So the Demir one is Demir Downspout. Now we think about water going down in a city, down under the city, water under the city, like maybe, uh, under city sewers. Black, red is Rectos. The stupid name for this one is Rakdos, which sounds a bit like Rakdos crossed with the word we want to remember, which is raucous. Raucous is an adjective, so we know it's raucous something, and what else could that be than theater? Because Rakdos is the theatrical guild, so we have raucous theater. Gruel is red-green. We know the stupid nickname is Gruel Galleria, or I guess it could be Gruleria. A lot of malls are called Galleria because... If Wiktionary isn't lying to me, it means an indoor area or covered courtyard containing shops. Now, a gruel mall wouldn't be indoor, so it has to be some kind of open area for doing shopping, maybe a commerce space or a commercial district. All right, green white is Selesnia. And looking at the art, I think Selesnia Solarium. Oh, by the way, linking senses to memories is also good for memory, so make sure to look at the art on the cards to see how they fit with the mnemonic stories. Anyway. Any Selesnia space is lush. Like, it's the most verdant and unfoliaged of the guilds. Anyway, so it's gonna be lush something. Wait a minute. Is, is Solarium a portmanteau? Huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Portmanteau sounds like portico. Lush portico. Next up is Orzov, the white black guild. Orzov is a very particularly sounding word. Orzov, Boyerzov, hey, wait. Orzov, Boyerzovs, like Backstreet Boys. So it's the Backstreet one. And Orzov gives shadowy vibes. Maybe not as much as Demir, but like close enough to remember that it's shadowy backstreet. Blue red is is it? Is it raining? Nope, that's just the thundering falls. Next up, black green for Golgari. <laughs> Golguary. <laughs> Alright, not Golguary, it's mortuary. And Golgari live and work underground, so it's clear it would be an underground mortuary. Red white is Boros. Our nickname is Boros Boudoir. 
boudoir is one of those words everyone knows and like has a vague image in their mind of what it actually is. Anyways, one of the things it can mean is the elegant parlor a woman passes through to get to her private bedroom, I guess. Because otherwise, this one doesn't work. Elegant parlor. And finally, we come to Green Blue Simic. One, which you probably still remember the name of from the beginning of the video, but for completeness, the nickname is Simic Shrubbery. And a shrubbery is basically the same thing as a hedge. And any Simic hedge would be a hedge maze. And that's it. Learn the stupid nicknames and figure out in your mind how they fit with the actual names and you'll be able to remember the actual names when you need to. Thanks for watching and listening and encouraging me. My How to Read a Magic the Gathering card series went off the rails a bit because I tried to come up with uh, one interesting thing about each card in Phyrexia All Will Be One and got really unmotivated when I got to page 16 and the script and realized most of the cards in a magic set are actually just minor variations of other cards in the set. And then I tried to write a script about planeswalkers or costs or sets and formats or learning to play or how set boosters were fine actually and nothing was really feeling right. And then my editing computer died for a while and I just didn't do anything for, at all for a while. So this video was kind of a get back into it video. And so, well, if you like this format or subject matter, let me know. And I will like make other stuff like it. Or if you like my other stuff, let me know that and I'll make other stuff like that. Maybe, I guess. Comments are cool. Whatever kind of kind of positive comments, you know, that said, this is something I do when the mood strikes me. So it might be a while before the next one and it wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, thanks. Okay, bye.